we are querying a collection from Firestore and then we are displaying it on the screen. In this example, we are clear about the type of query we want to make and about the conditions that query is going to have. For example, a, this is a website that displays the list of your favorite foods and by default is only going to display the ones that are rate, rated 3 or above. What happens when I want to add a new condition? Let's say, for example, I also wanted to filter the ones that are less than 5. I don't know, maybe the person is just trying to find the average foods at the moment. Or if they want to add more conditions, I don't know, for the rating or for the name to be equal to something and things like that, like, you get the point. Each new condition that I want to add uh, means that I need to update the code and I need to redeploy the application. I ran into this recently where the application simply cannot be redeployed for every user. We need to have dynamic querying depending on the user and we don't know how many conditions there will be or what those conditions will be. We just know that depending on the user that logs in, we have to download some initial data and that initial data configuration needs to come from somewhere. Like we need to have somewhere that says this user is going to download this, 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 and that data, and so on. For that, we took advantage of the query function. If you go to the definition, you see that the query function is going to take an array of query constraints. So this, the query constraints are these where clauses or where statements. And since it's taking an array of these, there is nothing that stops us from getting this array from the database and then feeding it to the application. So let's comment out this one moment and let's try to rewrite this function in a more generic way. The first change is that now the function is going to take this query list. This query list is going to be the list of conditions like these work clauses that we are going to run. And since we don't really like that any there, we are going to add a new interface. Uh, this interface is just called Firestore Query and it's going to say that the properties there are property, operator, and value. This operator is of type where filter opt and it's mostly a string of data, but Firebase tells you that these are the only uh, allowed values. Now we can change this any here and we're going to tell our function. You are going to take the query list as a parameter. Then we are going to create our query conditions. And this is of type query constraint. Query constraint is this type right here, the work clause. And we are going to get this from the query list that we are taking as a parameter. We are going to map through that list and in each condition, we are going to return the where clause. And the, the where clause is the query constraint, and it's going to be the property that we're going to evaluate, the operator, and the value. Now that we have that, we can see this function that we have here, our query to perform. Let's move it a bit back. And in the past, you notice that it had the query hard coded. We can use this same function, and what we want to do is say that here, instead of hard coding the work clauses, we are going to spread the query conditions. And the rest is the same. We are going to return a collection data where we are going to evaluate our query to perform. And now we can create our initial query list, and we can pass it as a parameter to the function. And you can see that when we save this, the application reloads and now it's taking the query. Now, this doesn't have to be hard coded here. You can store it into the application and get it from there. And the good part is that let's imagine this is in the application. If you add a new property in the application, the same that we had before, let's see, it's less than five. When we save and reload, it's going to take that query there and it's going to apply it. Or you can say in the fly, you can change in the database and say, okay, this user only wants to get things that are five stars. So you change the query in the database 
and it's going to take it in the application without you needing to refresh, reload, or even needing to redeploy the application. I know this is a simple example, but try to think about the more complex use cases out there. For example, we have an application where, for example, we have an application where we, uh, most of our users have different type of permits. So each user can access a subset of data. And this is based on the permits the, or the permissions that the user has and some other things about their user configuration. So what we do is that we have all of the user queries stored in the database. And when we load that user, we immediately get that query list from the database, feed it to Firestore and get our data back. Now, when we need to do any type of changes, we just update the queries in the database and then the data gets updated in the application without us needing to change the code or anything like that. 